This is Twit. Xbox News, PS5 on track for 2020. What is it? Yes. Uh, didn't Microsoft? Is aren't they doing a stream of games or something this week? Or is yeah? That so actually, I was just thinking that. I, I guess we didn't talk about this. So last week, Microsoft held the first of what will be several monthly events where they show off gameplay from last coming week. Okay. Xbox Series X. Did games. you watch them? I didn't, I forgot. Yeah, to watch. I watched the whole thing. It's great. By the way, I'm the only person that thinks this. Um, <laughs> I, I I heard. I watched this thing and I thought. Well, first of all, I don't really care for most of the games per se. Although the new. Uh, uh, geez, Assassin's Creed game looks amazing. The Valhalla game, um, but you know, whatever. I mean, I I play this kinds of games I play, but I, what I was looking for was you had to watch it in 4K. It, you know, it was gorgeous, and they didn't do that many games. I think there were maybe ten, possibly twelve games. They were all third party games. I think next month's event they're going to do um, all first party games, and they're trying to do what they used to do at E3. If you ever paid attention to a video game E3 conference, it's literally. Introduce a guy from the studio. He talks about the game for a few minutes. Someone stands there with a controller and plays it for a couple of seconds. And then they go on to the next game. And they do bam, bam, bam. They go, that's the whole event. And so it was like that, except it was more time with each game and fewer games, right? So it was just the initial gameplay uh, demo. And I I thought it was awesome. I, I pinged a couple of my friends and said, you got to watch this on YouTube. You got to watch it. Make sure you turn on 4K. I think this thing looks amazing. I thought it looked, I just thought it looked amazing. Um, I had a lot of people like, eh, I don't know, the games weren't that interesting, you know. I didn't think of the, the graphics were all that great. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I, so <laughs> to me, it just looked great. But uh, two things happened uh, in the past 24 hours on the Sony side, which is, I think are also interesting. I don't have this in the notes, but um, I think it's Epic uh, Games has the Unreal Engine. They put a demo out today of the next-gen Unreal Engine running on the PS5. And it also looks amazing, like 4K. You know, Sweeney said it. something like, once you see this PS5, you're going to have to rethink how you design PCs. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I think it looks amazing. It does. It looks amazing. So I think both the we're PS5... Gonna, we're going to have fun Xbox, this, yeah, this Christmas. Gonna be we're going to need it, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I, mean I, I was talking about Call of Duty last week and going from, like, um, Modern Warfare 2, which came out in, like, say, 20, uh, 2009, I think it was, so over a decade ago, it's sh you know that game is showing its age. Of course, it's lo really low res. I, if you play the multiplayer, it looks you know terrible. They do a remastered version of that. It looks awesome. The modern Call of Duty games look awesome. I look at these graphics from the Unreal Engine demo or from the Microsoft thing from last week, and I think to myself, like the next Call of Duty game is going to look awesome. Like on these systems, it's going to be amazing. And it really opens up the possibility for being able to do anything you wanted to do. It's sort of like when you saw Jurassic Park for the first time, you're like, they can make any movie now. Like, right. it's just wide, wide open. Nothing, you know? Everything's and, anything possible. Anything is possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what these consoles... How exciting. Enabled. Yeah. So, the only... I mean, uh, this is sort of news. I mean, I, I think PS5 and Xbox Series X, unless something really goes south, will both launch this year. Sony this week said that, that it will. They're on track. Probably going to have limited supply. They may have limited audiences, right? I mean, these things will be pretty expensive. People aren't maybe won't be ready to spend money on something like this yet because of COVID. We'll see. Um, but Sony said, "Yeah, we're gonna, you know, we'll do it. We'll see. We'll see how that looks." So we have months to go. And I have the wrong name in here, but the PlayStation Four, the current version of the console, that thing is selling a lot less than it used to. So I don't have the exact figure in front of me, but I want to say in the past quarter it sold 1 point something million 1.3 1 1.2 something like that million units a year ago it was 2.6 a year before that it was you know double that whatever so it's going down but they've sold 110 million units overall um in seven years which you know is incredible it's second only to the playstation 2 which is the the best seller and i i believe they're just about to overtake the playstation 3 so their current console obviously did great but we'll look for the next gen and see which were these two. Do people buy you know. both ever? I mean, I do. <laughs> but yeah. most I mean, people. that's kind of our business. Yeah. <laughs> Playing games. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah. I right. No, I guess not. I mean, I think that's one of the things people that hurt choose. Xbox last time. Yeah. Yeah. So Sony has accused Microsoft, speaking of accusations recently, of waiting to reveal the price until Sony releases their pricing because they uh, want to be like undercut bid. Sony this they time. They want to bid. What's the bid? Uh, What's the bid? They got screwed <laughs> last time with that. They were 100 bucks over where they should have been. So. You said expensive. They're both going to be 500 My guess. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere around there. there. 
Yeah. That is Just pretty pricey. And yeah, if it's that much, of course, you spend a thousand on a PC pretty routinely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, consoles are in a weird place because there's this gigantic market for um, casual gamers who are just playing games on whatever device they have, like a phone usually, right? And then there's this tiny market, but it's really lucrative for PC gaming because those guys spend a lot of money. And then in the middle is consoles. And I, it's consoles are like, it's like I want it to be almost as good as a gaming PC, but I don't want it to be as complex or as expensive. And I don't, you know, like I, 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 I that's how I prefer to play. But I feel like the console market overall, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know how to compare it to things, you know. COVID could be good for this because if we're still, you know, boarded up come yeah. uh, come the holidays, um, and I see no right. reason to think we won't be, then uh, you might be looking for something to do. Mary, Even Mary Jo might buy one of these. No, let's not get crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but um, I always, this has never taken off, but I, I've been surprised that things like Apple TV or Roku or Amazon Fire TV all of which at one time or another have had or still have game tro controller availability or you can turn the remote around and use it like a mini uh, Nintendo controller or whatever. I, I'm surprised those things aren't more popular for games just because it's a device you might already have. Um, it's there, you know, it's a bigger screen. I don't know, that stuff, it never really took off. I mean, a, a, a console is such a specialty device. You know, you spend two to 500 bucks on a box that you put in uh, where? A room, like a kid's room? You put it in... The living room, and then you're competing with people that just want to watch TV. I, it's it's kind of a weird area. I don't know. I mean i I have a screen dedicated to it in my office, you know. Wow. But I'm not I'm not normal. Wow. <laughs>